Good evening, my peoples. I am back. So I got my Mother's Day gift in. And uh, it is so pretty. So as you can see, it is... This is a dupe of the Cartier Just Unclue Nail Bracelet. This is... Um, from my Indian jeweler, it's 18 carat. He had two that was 21 carat, and this one was 18 carat. I was gonna get the 21 carat, but I didn't think that he only had a 17. And um, from what I measured on my arm, it would not, it would have been too small. And so this is the size 20, and this one is 18 carat gold. Um, Hopefully you can see it with the flash on it. It was just way too bright and kind of flushing it out. This is, um, I believe the size is a three and a half. I think it's a three and a half millimeter. I believe it's either three or three and a half. Uh, I can't remember, but I just need to see where on my brace, on my stack, I could put it because I didn't picture it to be this petite, um, and um, where I wanted to put it, it would get lost on my stack. So with the, compared up to the rest of my bracelets that are so bold and big, um, I was going to put it right in between my Hemo nail bracelet and my Pandora, but it would just get lost. <laughs> like, it's almost not even there. So I was thinking about putting it in between my um, Clover, Four Leaf Clover bracelet and my Hemo nail bracelet. But then it's a little too loose, and I just don't want it to slide over the... Um, clover bracelet the van cleef bracelet right there so and then if i put it on my right arm as you can see it will definitely get lost um and i don't even have my um other big gold bypass bracelet on i took it off for the night because i didn't want to mess it up it's starting to get little dings from me sleeping in it so i just take it off um when I'm home and I'm not going anywhere. So as you can see my dilemma here, that's what happens when you can't try stuff on in a store to kind of see how it's gonna line up with your ongoing stack. But I'm gonna make it work. So um, this is it, this is from my Indian guy. Um, and he's in uh, out of Massachusetts. Very nice jewelry he has, and there's nothing wrong with a dupe. Um, this, I think, I don't even, I think Cartier's smallest size is a 2.5, and that's their bendable. Um, the, the bracelet without the hinge is just bendable and flexible. And um, their regular size is a 3.5, so I think this is a 3. And their regular size is like $7,000 because they go up every year. And I paid nowhere near $7,000 <laughs> for my bracelet. And if you've seen this on my arm, you wouldn't even know this wasn't from Cartier unless I told you. And actually, he had a 4 millimeter. 21 karat gold and that one was 3000 and still it was, it's bigger than the Cartier for seven thousand dollars so that just goes to show you some people are just hooked on brand names i'm not hooked on no brand i'm looking at quality and price now <clears throat> if i couldn't get a piece that i liked that wasn't a dupe that had quality 
real gold in price, then um, if I had the money, I would go for that particular brand. But hell, if um, if I could find a, a, a great quality dupe that's real gold, I'm keeping my money in my pocket. Uh, I'm not thinking about no brand just because, you know. Of course, yeah, I would like to go into Cartier and be like, give me that bracelet right here. But at this point in my life with kids in college and, you know, still kind of a young family. And one, um, I'm a stay at home mom, so I don't work. Uh, that's not in my budget. <laughs> a $7,000 bracelet um, is not in my budget. So. Um, this is in my budget and this and this will do. Um, I've been very happy with all of my pieces from my Indian guy. Uh, and I believe um, when it comes to a hemo, these bracelets right here is, I want to say they're top quality because hemo is not cheap. Um, but hemo, hemo also makes some nice uh, pieces as well. So, and I, sh these don't come off. I shower with them, sleep in them. Um, and as you can see, they, I've had them for a year now, my Hemo nail bracelet. Um, and I've had no issues. The only th issue that I had was at the time, I didn't know that they came in really sizes because it's a hinge bracelet. And these are actually pretty tight on my arm and so that's why i went with the size 20 because he said the 17 is like a 6.7 and these hemo braces are six and a half and they do dig into my arm like i'm constantly adjusting them but i already have bought them and you know what more could i do so i have to wear them so i didn't want the same thing with these for it to be tight and uncomfortable um so i just need to see where i'm going to put this on in my stack kind of play around with it but let me open it up for you so as you can see it has the same locking mechanism as the um cardia just on clue same locking mechanism and it is pretty hard to um, for me to unlock it when it's on my arm by myself. Um, I have to keep playing with it, but yeah, can't beat that with a stick. So I'm gonna get out of here. I don't waste enough of y'all time. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Would you buy a um? Would you buy a dupe if the price was right? Or does it have to be from the brand? I was re looking at a video where one lady thought about buying a dupe because the price was right, but she was just like, she felt weird knowing that it didn't come from um, Cartier. And then some ladies was like, if it don't come from the brand <clears throat> like Cartier, they don't want it. Um. I watched another lady who bought dupes um, from, she said, a trusted seller. She didn't give the name, but um, she bought a Van Cleef. She bought um, a Love, and I believe she had a Just Unclue. And she was like, you can't even tell, and you can't, unless somebody all with a magnifying glass on your, on your wrist, like, there ain't no Cartier, let me see. You really don't know the difference. Um, and the price difference is huge. Um, you basically, when you go to those brands, <clears throat> you kind of paying for the name. And again, they raise their prices every year. Like they threw in that small petite bendable bracelet because they kept going up on their regular size bracelet. Their regular size bracelet some a couple years back was like three thousand dollars thirty five hundred and now the damn going thing is up to like seven thousand dollars so go figure and then they they throw in a slim a petite a bendable or this or that 
and put that one at the price that the regular one was at some years back. So <clears throat> to me, I'm all about keeping my money in my pocket. I don't really care about, you know, no brand. I don't care about them bringing, you know, champagne. I don't care about the, get, getting no date booklet. I go buy that myself. Yeah, it's an experience. Um, but as of right now, um, I really don't care about that experience. I care about keeping my money in my as much money in, in my pocket as I can. And if I could get something that looks like it or that's similar to it for less money, but same quality or similar quality, I'm going to take it. Like I said, these Hemo bracelets, they came as a pair. They wasn't cheap. Um, but I got two pair, two 21 karat gold, solid gold bracelets for still less than Cartier is charging for their one regular size bracelet. <laughs> so, and like I said, these are good, Hemo is good quality. He makes some very nice pieces, some very different type of stuff. This is Indian gold, 21 carry. You mostly see like um, the um, the Emirates, uh, Indian, you know, people, um, they use like 21, 22, 24 carat in their jewelry. Um, you more so don't see other brands that normally stop at 18 carat. But, um, yeah, 21 carat and these bangles together, the weight, I believe, is 53 grams. That's heavy. That's heavy. W very well made. Um, so, for me, this was my, the Hemo bracelets was my Cartier nail bracelet at the time. And, and they look different as well. Um, but I still pay less for two bracelets than for Cartier's one bracelet that's not near as heavy or weighty and is um, a higher carat gold. So, um, <laughs> you know, spend your money how you like to, but as long as my Indian guy keep getting in these quality pieces uh, for less, I'm going to buy them. If I got the money. So I'm out. Y'all have a good day, a good night. Um, enjoy the rest of y'all week. Give me that thumbs up on the video. Comment. Let me know what you think about dupes. You know, would you buy a dupe? Um, if it was good quality, real solid gold and less money? Or are you one of the people that have to have it from the brand? Let me know in the comments, please.